welcome back to How To. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to bronze. Once you have applied your foundation on and you have set it, I do have videos on how to do those as well, so please make sure to go check that out. You might find that your foundation is a little bit bland, it's a bit plain, so I'm here to show you guys how to bronze and just give your skin a little bit more of a glow if you would like to add more color. So let's get into bronzing. So for today's video, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Light. My recommendation is that you use something light as bronzer can be buildable. So you don't want to use something that's really highly pigmented because it's always harder to take away makeup than it is to add. With the Hula bronzer, I recommend any fluffy brush will do. Because it is fluffy and not as dense and compact, I find that this distributes the product onto the face very nicely, smoothly and evenly. So definitely get yourself a brush like this for bronzing. Also for the purpose of this video, what I want to do is I want to bronze one half of my face. So I'll be bronzing the right hand side so that you can tell the difference between just foundation and foundation and a nice bronze on top. When you take your fluffy brush and the product, I would recommend using circular motions and that's going to pick up the most product. Now again, less is more, so I actually tap off any excess that's left on the brush back into whatever the product is. And when you start to apply it, what I would recommend, even though this is fluffy and it won't deposit too much pigment down onto my face, it's always safer to start in the areas that you would naturally contour your face. If you are going to make a mistake, at least it's in the area that we know can naturally be contoured to enhance features and things like that. So first I'm going to start off with my cheekbone. I always start off on my cheekbone. I'm not going to apply it somewhere like underneath my eyes first. So when I take my product, all I'm doing is I'm going to be using kind of rotating and circling motions, but I'm being extremely, extremely light-handed. I'm almost applying no pressure on. So I start at my cheekbone and then I can blend to the rest of my face. You can pick up more product. I always tap off excess and again, you just want to build it up. So all I'm doing is using circular motions to just get that color on. You can go into your forehead. You can use sweeping motions, but I can't stress to you as to how gentle I'm actually being to my skin. Now, I don't know if the camera is actually picking it up. I can see it in person. There is a very slight difference. This side looks really, really bronzed, especially when I turn this way. You can kind of see my cheekbones softly, you know, kind of being defined and really nice and glowy, whereas this side is kind of just foundation. What I also want to do is I'm actually going to take my drugstore natural bronzer. You've probably seen this in many videos that I've used. And this here, when you compare it to the Benefit, you can tell the difference in color. So let's try something that maybe most people might have. And again, I'm going to show you that the same technique applies. Grab your brush, grab the product, swirl some product onto the brush, tap off any excess. Then again, I'll start on my cheekbone using circular motions and I'll just gradually add the product. But you see how using a fluffy brush really just spreads the product out evenly. And there you go. That's how you bronze your face. Okay, let me even out the other side and then we'll move on to recap. Don't use a bronzer that is too dark. Even though you can use one if you have one at home, if you are going out and buying a new bronzer for the first time or you need a new one, I would always recommend that you get not too orange of a bronzer or not too dark of a bronzer because the darker you go, the more you go into the contouring side of things. It's always safer to go with a lighter bronzer. Again, you can always build up, then you can take off. In saying the other point, the way that you can get away with using a darker bronzer, as I have shown you, is to use a big fluffy brush. The bigger, the fluffier the brush is, the more it's going to disperse the product all over the skin, smooth, and evenly and that's exactly the key to bronzing when you are actually applying the bronzer on as you saw I was using circular motions I started off in the areas that I would naturally contour like my cheekbones my forehead um, I just blend it down to my neck to kind of give an even look be extremely gentle and apply absolutely no pressure let the brush do the work for you and that's our recap done 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below what's your favorite bronzer. Maybe I haven't tried it out, maybe I've never seen it before, so please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite bronzer is. And also make sure that you check out my other how-to playlist videos. It will be linked in the description down below. Also, please make sure that you are subscribed. Please turn the notification bell on so that you are notified as to when I upload another how-to video on my channel. But with that being said, until next time, thank you for your love and support. Bye guys.